that is why are you saying no 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 that is what, which, what? But i had to do the last order i, I do don't the, know sir whatever you have produced that i'm mr please i would produce don't raise your voice you have not filed the documents Right, yes, you have not filed the documents. Whatever documents you have filed, I'm looking at those documents. That is all. But this is the last. Final, Mr. Counsel, please bear with me. If you have chosen not to file the document, then don't shout at me. Itna amount deposit करने के लिए बोल रहा है। But the deposit, my say that the order is itself barred by law, my lord. There is a specific moratorium under section 96 of the IBC which says that any date is uh, the proceedings are stayed. So therefore, the the judgment which has been passed by the trial court itself is without jurisdiction method so therefore there can't be that is a specific ground which has been taken in appeal also just a minute but aap ye bataiye ki ab aapne to bail order ka hai na matlab ke suspension aapka bhi grievance ke order kiya gaya against the order dated 16 4 2024 by the condition has been put forth by the appellate court for suspension of sentence to deposit the money right. my says when the judgment itself is bad in law hmm. and barred by law matter specifically if matter would see the what is the provision under section 96 i had quoted in my petition matter 96 of 96 ibc code insolvency and bankruptcy code 2016 ye kahan se aa jayega but it would apply that's what i'm saying matter if it would read matter it says i had quoted it page 13 matter ground 2 no para 9 section 96 again madam yes sir any legal action or proceeding pending in respect of any, any debt it's only any that is debt. for recovery of debt that is for that's what i'm saying but 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 it doesn't so that means are but, but it how how that will cover section 138 or 138 is also it is for it is for recovery of a debt sorry in sir sense, in a sense madam sorry because, sir because sorry he, sir but it has, is not for recovery of debt it is it, that's why a punishment has been uh, provided not but my say that proceeding under 138 could not have been initiated when i had informed the court that there is a moratorium and there is a debt sir please but now not, sir not, please not, wait for 2 seconds yes, right or else i am ready to keep quiet no difficulty no, i would i would I if you have decided that you will speak out only and you will not listen to the court fine sir no difficulty no i we cannot compel you to listen to me i am sorry please come to section 11 Three sub three subsection eleven. Now please come to twelve. Default. Mm -hmm. Default means non-payment of debt when whole or any part or installment of the amount of debt has become due and payable and is not paid by the debtor or the corporate debtor as the case may be. Now come to ninety-four. Mm -hmm. A debtor who commits a default. A default. My lord. As per Now section. Please debt. please keep the uh, definition of default in mind. My lord. Right. My lord. Non-payment of debt. Not non-payment of debt. May whether, apply whether sorry section one thirty eight of Negotiable Instruments Act has anything to uh, recover the debt for that only purpose that the check has whatever your personal perception about one thirty eight may be it is a crime it is for a criminal it is a of crime that it is, is wrong for not honouring the commitment mm -hmm. which has been done by right issue a check my lords right my lords and in order to protect a person. a rider has been imposed that a check must have been issued in respect of a debt a legally recoverable debt that is all it is not for the recovery of debt there is a distinction between 138 and ibc section 94 95 and 96 how can we stop the criminal proceedings for issuance of a check this is not for recovery of We are not saying that since you have failed to de uh, deposit the amount or clear of the amount, therefore you are being punished. But the yeah. ultimate conclusion would be that uh, since uh, you had issued a check uh, with insufficient funds, this is a crime because of that. Yeah. That, that is all. That is a completely different act. That is that is with regard to the civil liability. Whether whether non-payment of debt is a crime under IBC? No, my lord. This is not a crime. No problem. crime. it is with regard to the civil liabilities right once the proceedings have been initiated then 96 would come into picture now the effect of 101 and 102 103 would have to be seen my lords what does it say uh -huh. if that's the main issue is my lords once, once the insolvency proceeding has been that is pirp that uh -huh. is personal insolvency resolution so that means you will be absolved yes, from, from both the liabilities bataiye my lord i would i would be uh, are pal dijiye na it would be a clean slate my lord are please read it out from the section 119 discharge mm -hmm. order mm -hmm. on the basis of repayment plan the resolution professional shall apply to the adjudicating authority for a discharge order in relation to the debts mentioned the discharge in, in relation to debt yes sir nothing from the criminal liability but that what has been held by the supreme court i would share that aap utne pe aa jao na direct aao na yaar aap to punjab and haryana ka high court dikha rahe ho mere ko 
एंड प्रिंसिपली विदाउट गोइंग थ्रू द रीजन प्रिंसिपली मुझे थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ लग रहा है बट एक्चुअली दिस आई नहीं आई हैव नॉट गोन थ्रू द रीजंस अल्टीमेटली आई मे गेट आई मे कन्विंस माय सेल्फ विद द रीजंस बट यू हैव रेड आउट ओनली फोर लाइंस व्हिच डिड नॉट स्ट्राइक टू मी मैट आई गुड नाउ प्लीज कम टू यू आर रेफरिंग टू व्हिच सेक्शन 119 मैडम 119 नाउ प्लीज टेल मी द judgment on which you are placing this reply this judgment where in section 99 to 100 have been uh, undertaken to be uh, the challenge to virus of the these provisions of personal insolvency were taken care of by the honorable supreme court and it has sir been... please point out the judgment Paragraph. in which it has been held that uh, once the insolvency proceedings have been initiated no proceedings under section 138 this is the one for 2021 supreme court p mohan raj bas utna dijiye na ji sir But the distinction between I had first why I had given Punjab Haryana in this. Just a minute, sir. आप अरे आप इस पे आइए ना. Sorry. One thirty eight को कहाँ consider किया है? Not that the first. Hmm. But it is it is with late. I would just clarify. अच्छा sir. You might not. Your yes, contention it, it, is. Sorry. Your contention is that the complaint under one thirty eight. Come under proceedings. Was not maintainable. Was in the proceedings, my lord, because the. No, yeah, proceedings under section. But that judgment is with relating to a moratorium under section fourteen, which is passed by the honourable NCLT after admission, my lord. Yes, yeah. You have. 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 Order issuing three. notice. Yes, three. Yes, my lord. When Page it was 14. passed, it was passed on sixteen four twenty twenty four. Please come to the judgment passed by the trial court. Yes, my lord. When it was passed, the judgment was passed on thirteen three twenty twenty four. समझ में आ गया क्वेश्चन मेरा? नहीं आया तो मैं अब समझाऊँ क्या? Sorry. आपके trial court के judgment के बाद का notice है ये. A three. No, my lord. That is. Why saying no? No, my lord. That is. What? Which, what? But I had to do the last order. I, I do don't the... know, sir. Whatever you have produced, no, that I'm. Mister, please. My lord, I would produce. Don't raise your voice. You have not filed the documents. My lord, I had filed them. Yes, you have not filed the documents. Whatever documents you have filed, I'm looking at those documents. That is all. But this is the last. Final, Mister Counsel, please bear with me. If you have chosen not to file the document, then don't shout at me. I'm not shouting, my lord. And I'm, I'm sorry, my lord, if my voice has risen, my lord. Now, why, sir, you have relied upon a document which is dated twenty two three twenty twenty four, and by that order, the notices have been issued, and that order is subsequent to the judgment passed by the uh, trial court under one thirty eight of Negotiable Instruments Act. It is your mistake if you have committed not to place all the documents on record. May I clarify this issue? Uh, right, sir. My page twenty-eight. I am not so, uh, uh, supposed to read in between the lines. No, not reading, but I am very specific on affidavit. I am not going to uh, uh, consider any affidavit when the documents are there my with you. Document is there in appeal, my lord. My lord, may kindly forget my about that. My lord, may kindly bear for a moment, my lord, for a moment, hmm. if my lord can bear for. Ah, अच्छी बात है सर बताइए. Page twenty-eight, my lord. The hmm. appeal which has been filed, in which this order has been passed. Hmm. If my lord would see the ground of appeal, the first paragraph, my lord, at page twenty-eight. Hmm. The first, my lord. Hmm. The appellant, being a guarantor of Shri Geeta Textile, who has committed a default in non-payment of so and so, Section 94 has been filed before Honorable NCLT Indore Bench for initiating oblig undergoing the insolvency resolution process. Wide company petition number so and so, wherein, as per Section 96, interim moratorium starts from the date of filing for personal guarantor. That is, with effect from 14/10/2022, mm. as effective on the date of impugned order dated 13/10/13/3/2024, mm. and is still in operation as on the date of filing of the appeal memo. Mm. I had produced that to show, my lord, that it is still pending. Oh. I mean, these documents are very well, okay, and okay. I had already, my lord, the judgment itself says that I had produced the document of initiation of an I, uh, insolvency before the trial court itself, before oh. the uh, learned judicial magistrate itself. Oh. So there is no dispute, my lord, that my moratorium under ninety six starts oh. from the date that is fourteen ten twenty twenty two. It is the admitted position, my lord. Oh. Before my lords, I had produced this order only for the purpose that it is. Still Sir, in, in which paragraph it has been held by Supreme Court in the case of Mohan Raj that uh, after the initiation of proceedings under the IBC Act, my lord, the one thirty eight proceedings will not be maintainable, and you cannot be punished for the check issued by you. My lord, I would certainly. Please. 
point it out passitum i would mm. write down the paragraphs also melod mm. the first pass passitum just below melod the uh, what has been held by the honorable supreme court has been written if melod would permit i would mm. read from there first mm -hmm. and then we'll bring that part of the mm -hmm. uh, judgment held mm. gravamen of a proceeding under section 138 ni act comma do couched in language making the act complaint of an offence comma is really in order to get back through a summary proceeding comma the amount contained in the dishonored check together with interest and cost comma expeditiously and cheaply thus a quasi criminal proceeding such as that is contained in chapter uh, uh, 17 ni act would comma given the object and con context of section 14 ibc amount to proceedings within the meaning of section 141a the moratorium therefore attaching to such proceeding Thus, mm. the legal impediment contained in section 14 would make it impossible for such proceeding to continue or to be instituted against the corporate debtor itself. Therefore, for the period of moratorium, no 138-141 NI Act proceeding can continue or to be continued against the corporate debtor because of the section 14 bar, uh, and so and so, so forth. Mm. Uh, and section 53 of the IB code, that is for the company, that is CIRP, Corporate mm. Insolvency Resolution Process, it says Malod, that the company would be given a new slate all the matters pending as on the date of uh, approval of the resolution plan would mm. be deemed to be closed mm. is there any judgment contrary to it no matter as on date matter i had since i can submit at bar matter that there is no on this count matter on the contrary i would be therefore i was saying it would have been better for you to say that you have not searched out for any contrary no, matters matters me kindly it would have been better for you to say me, don't make I, a statement at the bar I, or may I may I make a uh, submission addition to it, my lords? This there I, is a contrary judgment by three judges bench in passed in 2023. My lords, may kindly consider, my lord. This is a judgment this, of this is a judgment on section 14 of moratorium. That's what my say is, my lord. This is on. It is a yes. That is also a judgment on the same lines of the same bench. And you have made a but specific. You have made a specific submission that. If there is no judgment but to the best of man i had i had added man, it, like a, it would have been better knowledge. it would have been better for you to make a statement case sir you have not or you could not lay down your but hands the, i i therefore i had man, there I, is a specific I, judgment against you and in that case p mohan raj was considered i i couldn't have man, since that is the difficulty you people don't make researches and then start arguing the cases that has been considered by the same bench. Right, it was big beyond reconciliation. Ke bhai, wo sab band kar do ke. My lords are referring to a judgment in which it has. I don't know. I am not supposed to tell you. My lords, can... so please, I have already told you there is a judgment of the same in bench. That and... judgment, in that judgment, what it has been said it... that section 14 will not apply to guarantors. Sir, please. It's my lord, sir. Sir, please. You have judgment not read the judgment, and you are trying to distinguish it. How that is possible, yeah? That means you have, you must have read that judgment, and now you are showing your ignorance. If you have not read, then you can't make any distinction. And if you have read, and you are trying to make a distinction, that means you have suppressed that fact that there is a judgment contrary to the judgment which you are citing. And in the subsequent judgment, the judgment passed in the case of P. Mohan Raj was considered. Therefore, I was making submission. Fine, fine, fine. I have a, it was not my duty to tell you, if, if, but I have told you, that is all. If, if, if I don't take it otherwise, I have told you, otherwise I would have written it in the judgment and fine. May I humbly submit, my lord, ah, sir, my please, lord, my please, lord, the sir. issue is, my lord, that that judgment which my lords are considering to be a judgment. Sir, if you have not read that judgment, lord, then please don't make a comment. My lords, kindly, kindly. Sir, sir, please. I would, I am submitting, my lords, ah. then let me be given a chance, my lord. Oh, sir, sorry. The, I am not, then, I am not my, here to tell you. Then my submissions may be considered at least, my lord. That this consider. is a proceeding that this, that the order of Kar Mohan Raj. No, sir, I am not here. If I may make a submission that it's, I would be at my lord's hands to. Sir, you have already held that once the proceedings have been initiated under IBC Act, then uh, this proceeding under section 138 of Negotiable Instrument Act would also be covered uh, in the word of proceeding. Therefore, in the light of P. Mohan Raj, even the uh, judgment passed by the trial court was nullity or it was not maintainable and therefore the imposition of condition while granting bail to you that is also bad i would add therefore All I, add the, the only issue which has to be added is p mohan raj has considered section 14 of the ibc wherein it has been against the company and subsequently section 96 is a 
condition which is not available in section 14 and it includes the words proceeding section 14 doesn't include the words proceeding my lords it has been interpreted by the honorable supreme court that it would be but whereas section 96 is very specific wherein interim moratorium applies from the date of filing till the date of admission mm -hmm. and from the date of admission 101 uh, 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 final moratorium would apply mm -hmm. so therefore in that case, in that context, my lords, I had referred to the Punjab Haryana High Court judgment, wherein specifically this distinction between P. Mohanraj and Section 96. Oh, yeah. I have not seen yes, to change the order, my lord, but only for the purposes, my lords. Yeah, this please. judgment says, my lords, it is with regard to that Section 14 moratorium will not be made applicable to the guarantors. It doesn't mean the Section 96. Therefore, my lords, the uh, Punjab Haryana High Court has. Now, further dealt with that issue, and it has relied upon this judgment also of Ms. Goenkaz Manor and said that it is. Sir, please, I have 75, 75 paragraph mein signatory word ko unhone hold kiya hai. He will not run, he cannot run away from his liability. That is fine. And I'm sorry. Once you have issued sorry. the check, I'm sorry. Once you have issued the check, whether you are a guarantor or not guarantor, it hardly matters. I'm sorry. Much obliged.